Good evening, and God bless all you kind, wonderful people. Still in the request queue, and happy to honor a request by one of my dearest friends, a very lovely lady, Renita. And uh, Renita's requested a song by Jim Croce, Time in a Bottle. What a great song. Several ironies associated with this song. Um, he actually wrote the lyrics to the song in uh, 1970 when he was told by his wife Ingrid she was expecting a child. And uh, <clears throat> it was then released on uh, his debut album in 1972 uh, on ABC Records. Uh, you Don't Mess Around With Jim. <clears throat> but it was not released as a single, just on the album. And the, the album had reasonable good success. And uh, his big break came in uh, 73 when his Life and Times album was released and the single with it, Bad, Bad Leroy Brown, which was uh, a number one hit, the only one he knew of, only one he enjoyed in his lifetime. So uh, even though Time in a Bottle became his second number one hit, it was recorded before Bad, Bad Leroy Brown uh, because... Uh, uh, Jim Croce was killed tragically in a small plane crash, small airplane that crashed in Natchitoches, Louisiana, uh, in a takeoff with total pilot error, taking off downwind and clipped a pecan tree, and everyone on board was killed. Jim Croce, age 30. Maury Muleheisen, his uh, guitarist and backup singer, um, in his mid-twenties, and, uh, Interesting thing about those two, uh, <clears throat> when they were introduced and put together by a producer who thought they might mesh, initially Jim Croce was back up to Maury Muleheisen, but soon those roles reversed as Jim began writing songs that uh, garnered attention and so forth. So it's a tragic situation. So after his death, uh, ABC Records, uh, because of the mortality that's talked about in the song and additional resonance it had obviously after his death they did release it as a single in December of 73 and it became number one in the US across the board in Canada and other countries and it was his second number one hit second and last number one hit but uh, one that was posthumous and uh, the song has uh, those ironies and others as I mentioned so Renita <clears throat> thank you for requesting a song I love <clears throat> Number one in 1973. Written in 70, but uh, released on an album in 72 and only as a single in December of 73. I think I said all that. <laughs> if I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you if i could make days last forever if words could make wishes come true i'd save every day like a treasure and then again I would spend them with you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do Once you find them I've looked around enough to know That you're the one I want to go through time with If I had a box just for wishes And dreams that had never come true The box would be empty Except for the memory of how They were answered by you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do Once you find them I've looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time with.
Good evening. God bless you all. Thank you, Renita, darling.